Hi everyone, it's Wendy. Leo and I are back at the cottage <laughs> doing uh, some crafting and I've been playing around with envelopes again. So I wanted to make uh, an envelope that I could put or a, a feature to put in a journal um, where the back is not covered but what would it would flip out. We'd have a tuck spot here, we'd have a tuck spot up here, and we'd have a tuck spot here. Uh, and this one hasn't been decorated other than to put the paper on and then we can do some playing with that afterwards. So, um, I thought I would just show you the basic uh, construction of how I put this together. And what I've done is I've used two envelopes. Um, this one is, let me just see, I know it's six and a half by just about three and three quarters. And then this one is just a teeny bit taller, like an eighth of an inch taller than six and a half by four and three quarters. So these are the two sizes I'm using because they're they're pretty close. You could easily use a shorter envelope with this. There are no rules. It's just having fun. Um, okay, buddy, let me do this. <laughs> All right, so these are the type of, um, my envelopes are the self-adhesive, so I'm just going to stick that one down, this big one. Uh, I am going to cut the long edge very close to the edge. Look at these scissors, guys. They're super long blades, which I absolutely love. And I got them from a sewing store, um, which is a great place to go and get really nice scissors. Now, I mean, they're meant for fabric, but I don't care. It doesn't matter. So there's no wrong side for this, uh, but I'm going to butt that in here to the just almost right in, but not quite, leaving about a sixteenth of an inch just so that there's, you can see, there's a little bit of space there. And that's what we have. So I'm using art glitter glue. You could easily use um, glue stick, whatever glue you'd like. Uh, and I'm just putting a bead right in here so that that's a little tighter to the envelope. So what I've done is I've cut paper. This is Tracy Fox Silhouette Paper on the cover, or the first insert, and I've cut it to the height, which was six and a half, and um, a little bit longer than the width. And the width was, um, would have been seven and a half. So this is, I've, I've actually done eight, six and a half by eight. And I'm going to just put a skiff of glue, the art glitter glue. How's everybody doing? I've been seeing on the news that Europe is getting like record hot weather, which is, can be really, can be nice. And then it can be debilitating if you're trying to actually do anything. We're not getting any of that warm weather here, I'm going to say. It's been pretty... Um, we keep saying summer has yet to arrive. So I'm just going to glue that down like so. So that's the inside of our page. And then I'm going to fold it. And what I do is I try and get it to match to the bottom. And then I kind of push it back because it's okay if that doesn't exactly see how it's a little bit past the envelope there's nothing wrong with that that just you know whatever whatever gets it to a place of level that you're happy with and I am happy with that so this time I'm going to put glue on the paper because I'm going to go over the the edge I don't know if you can see this we've I'm dealing with because it's uh, quite gray and rainy. I'm still dealing with having to put the overhead light even though it's um, it's before 9 a.m. here. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that. Set it down like so. And then I'm going to fold it like so. So there, the silhouette papers are fantastic for this. And then this time I'm going to just cut at the top 
like that. And just my thumbnail and pull that off so that we have an opening at the top. And now we just have to cover. I cut this to um, the right width, which was four, just about four and three quarters by a little over six and a half. And I will trim it if I need be, need be. That is paper from Artie Mays. And I forget which kit. I'm sorry about that, guys. But um, I'll try and remember. I'll try and double check where I got that. Internet is so limited here that um, it consumes a lot of my data just to go in and actually do a search on something. Um, so if any of you know what it is, I'd appreciate the help and you writing it down for folks. That would be great as well. So yeah, when I say internet is bad, um, you know, it's a matter of what you're used to, isn't it? Uh, to upload a 10 minute video, it takes about four hours. But it also means that during that four hours, I can't do anything. Like I could not watch a video. I uh, couldn't do anything that would impact the speed. Uh, so there you go. So that's the basic little um, unit, which is very similar to the other little uh, plays I've been doing with envelopes. So what do we want to do? We want to, um, I have some already pre-made, uh, these are from Mrs. Cog. Thank you, Liz. And I forget the name of the kit, but I tell you what I'm going to do. I will link, I will try and find the very kit and link to it. But I love, I put them on craft paper. I've glued them on craft paper and inked around them and I thought they made a really neat tuck spot. So I'm going to put that there. And just wondering where I put my ink. No worries, we'll find it. It's not here at the, on the table. So there's that. So these are both at the same stage um, and ready to do some embellishing. So I have I have my my fun little butterflies and labels and whatnot, and then I have one here that has um, some really pretty flowers that have been cut out. It's a little bit big. Ooh, that might be nice. Look how pretty that is on there. Wow. Okay, let's look. Ooh, this is nice too. For maybe for here. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Uh, that one's too big. So, what if? <clears throat> I'm just going to glue that down. and set it there. So anyway, I hope you're all well. I hope you're having good weather um, and enjoying weather where you are. <clears throat> I'm enjoying being being here at the cottage even though we haven't had we haven't had sunny weather yet, but I'm doing two at the same time. What's the deal with that? Um, it doesn't matter. I mean seriously. We have a lovely little spot where family can come and gather. <clears throat> and that is the main thing. We had our granddaughters, our daughter, well, two of our kids, um, their partners, and our two granddaughters, Julie and Alice, here this weekend. And Pops, that's what they call my husband, put up bunk beds for the girls. And, well, I mean, they're four and almost three, almost five and almost three. And you would have thought that he had given them the world. They loved it. Absolutely loved it. So we've got this. And I wonder about... Do we want to put... I just think that's so pretty with the yellow there. I'm not sure I want to obstruct that in any way. What about... I have some of this pretty paper. 
and I think it's called the Paper and Card Shop on um, Etsy that I bought them. I will link below, um, but such beautiful stuff. That looks nice there. Maybe up here. Um, yeah, really beautiful papers that I got, and really, I thought they were a really reasonable price. And they came from Germany really super fast. So I was really impressed by that. So we've got that. I mean, you could put a little piece of something here if you wanted to make that look a little more, um, oh, I don't know, just a little bit. <clears throat> maybe a little more um, scrappy. So what if we put this up here? Would that look good? I think so. I like it. This is the way I work. I do work in multiples. I don't usually do a video where I'm attacking things this way in terms of multiples, but it's working, right? So I'm going to set that there. Now I have, these are some of the new Roxy um, creation. Isn't that cute, right over top? I think that would look good there. Let's do it. It's only because I don't like the, um, if I were to put it and the lines were sticking out at the bottom, it doesn't appeal to me as much for some reason. I'm not much of a kitty corner kind of person. I like things to be fairly regular. <clears throat> this is a Tracy Fox uh, label. It's my favorite label, Tracy. I, I think I've said it before. I love that label. So I'm going to set that here, like so. I don't think I need anything else because that Silhouette's uh, paper is so beautiful there. Um, I do have some Graphics Fairy butterflies and that might look nice, especially if it crosses over on there a little bit. So let's do it. So what do you guys do for vacation? Usually we, we would often just take a week or two and find a spot uh, like a rent a cottage, so this is a big deal for us to have our own our own space. That's real pretty. And then here, why don't we do another butterfly? Or we could do two butterflies. that was speaking to me. So I'm doing this today and it literally, I'll be lucky if it gets, if I'm able to actually load it. Uh, today I'm going to try, I tried to have as many bits prepped as possible for doing the tutorial because things take so long and there would be no way I could do a long video, that's for sure. So what if we do that? Yeah, I like that. Now, I could ink these. I'm not going to bother because the ink's not near me. Now these are cards that I've made already. And this is um, Ledger. It's called Ledger um, Cardstock. And um, I just put paper on the back and have sewn around it and inked around it. And these are just bits that I had ready for putting in a journal. And not that I even had a concept for this before that. And then here's another one there, just a piece of card uh, that I've covered and done some zhuzhing to. And then that could go in there. And you, I may sew a little bit of fabric on the side of that as a little tab, a little fabric tab, or put on a little tab. But I think those are and you could easily have, uh, you know, put something, the plan is that you would put something in there as well. So that's one. Um, 
I have this one again with the ledger in the back. I'm going to set that in here. And another card, I've done both sides. It's got a little Edith Holden on it. And we're going to try and get it in there. And uh, like I said, I would probably put some fabric on the side there so somebody would know that it was, in fact, a tuck spot. But aren't those cute? And those will look really sweet in a journal. Um, and I like that this has not been, nothing's been happened to that, other than you could put a little bit of lace or something down there, maybe. I have some lace, you know, like you could stick a piece of lace. This was from uh, a piece of linen, so you could easily do that sort of thing. But I won't do it now, only because I am already at 15 minutes. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope this was useful in some way. Um, give it a whirl, super easy to do, uh, and there's no limit to the things you can try and do with envelopes. Really cool. Okay guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.